Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up rendering, and I'll also share my favorite settings. First, let's load your design and get started. Now, at the top of the window, click Render. When the Render window pops up, you might see some previous render records. If you do, just click Interactive Render at the top to refresh everything. All right, let's set up the render window first. Head over to Image and Video Properties here. I'm going with A4 size here. If the transparency is turned on but you don't want it, you can turn it off and choose a background color you like. At the bottom of the window, you'll see a few options. Zoom to 100% lets you view your image at its actual size like A4. Fit in View scales the image to fit your screen, which is super handy. There's also a Show Grid option, but honestly, I don't use it that much. Now, let's move on to lighting. This part is super important because lighting can completely change how your design looks. In the Light Property Editor, you'll see a few options. My favorite is High Contrast Studio because it gives a really bold contrast, making your design look super realistic. If it feels too dark, you can adjust the light intensity to brighten things up. You can also tweak the light angle to get the perfect highlight and shadow effect. Here's a tip. Adjust the angle and check how the fabric texture looks. The more detail you can see, the more realistic it'll appear in the render. I usually set the background to transparent. And also, you can customize the lighting even more. There are six different light options you can add manually. You can adjust each light's intensity, color, width, and length to get the exact look you want. When you add a light, you might notice a light panel in the render scene. If that bothers you, just hop over to the 2D window and hide it. To check which lights you've added, go to the Light Property panel. From there, you can turn lights on or off by clicking the light bulb icon. If you want to hide the avatar but keep things like shoes, go to Show Avatar, select the avatar's texture, and set the opacity to zero. This will make the avatar completely transparent, but any accessories will stay visible. Let me share my go-to light setups. I love High Contrast Studio and Light 6 because they give amazing results right out of the box. No extra adjustments needed.
Light 7 is another great option, but it's a bit dark, so I usually tweak the angle a bit to make it work. I hope this video helps you feel more confident with rendering. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with even more helpful tutorials. Bye!